in the cash, art, stuff that's not going to be touched by the federal government. They're not fools. How do you think they got rich? They're not going to put up with having to take care of fat, lazy, slovenly niggers. Richard, don't ever call in here again. Don't ever, ever, ever call in here again. Let's just block that number because that's that's worthless talk. Larry's gone. Uh, next call is Bedford, New Hampshire. Jim, good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. I uh, was at an event in uh, the John Huntsman campaign yesterday. And I, I was a little bit confused why somebody like Huntsman hasn't been getting nearly as much attention as some of the upper tier candidates. And at one point during the event, he pulled out his pants and exposed his penis. Uh, Chantilly, Virginia. Uh, John, Republican. The proof stands in his riddles of the uh, pornos. Every Friday night, he would go and rip pornos for the weekend for almost two years. The subject of every one of them was black males, long, gone silver. He read it that three times before he finally bought it. He never read it, a video about Woman to woman. Peace, advice. Okay, Mary, you're up. Hi. This is Mary. I have a big cock. I like to play with. Oh, oh. I don't know how Mary got through our uh, Tanya, our screeners. Yes, Tanya. Santorum's Google problem. I'm not going to go into it because obviously, but you know, and, and Saturday Night Live, for example, Saturday Night Live had Mitt Rock, excuse me, had Rick Santorum in one of those. Uh, homosexual clubs, you know, like he was a guy who just loved to have a dildo looped up and shoved. Okay, we're going to stop you at that point, and we'll go next to this uh, caricature. Including the Ukraine for the Zionist Jewish banking cartel. And money in our country for resolve poverty and other problems like that. Next up is Julian in Carlsbad, California, on our line for independence. Oh, cool. Hey, show your tits. A short delay announced coming to Maryland. Democrats line Xander. Hello. Um, I mean, mainly, I like, I, hey, I'm a small guy, so like, these are the health issues that are involved with that. Is cost a concern? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I have a small cock. I, I have a tiny penis. Uh, and and uh, uh, both to humans, the environment, uh, and, and to the economy. We have about 15 minutes left with our guests. Let's get back to those calls. Baltimore, thank you for waiting. Tom, Republican. I'm pronounced Thom. Thom? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Just, you know, watching the program today, getting riled up, I sort of had a eureka moment. This entire country is uncircumcised. Let's go right on to Weirton, West Virginia. Why don't they consider the whiteys, the chalkies, the honkies, the crackers, etc.? I mean, we don't have any teams called pill faces. I think the state stand should be focusing on other things rather than this bullshit. You got it. Yeah. All right, we're going to move on. If you're going to use that kind of language. Taylor, I read an article about this recently. It was titled Dream Eskimo. I'm sure you can find it on whatever. It's just dream Eskimo, but they were sort of talking about this different stuff, and I'm sure that this will be on YouTube, because fuck you. Tom from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Democrats line. Boy, we sure are getting the cranks out there this morning. Sorry to hear that. Long Island, New York is on our yes line. Hey, how you doing this morning? Fine, go ahead. Yeah, I'm all for democracy. You know, I think, like, you know, we got these celebrities running around like, you know, Sheryl Crow and Kim Basinger and Susan Sarandon, Rob Rosinski. They should all be bukkake, you know, sprayed down with my sperm. All of Los Angeles, California. Another New Hampshire call. Uh, Dan joins us, Republicans line. Uh, good morning, Dan. Where are you calling from? Hi, good morning. I'm calling from Portsmouth. And Great, I welcome. Used to, good morning. I used to be a, an assistant to the Portsmouth city manager, and part of my job would be to, uh, to help prepare for the primary, so I know a little bit of what Chairman McDonald's going through, uh, a very little bit. I know you have a big job today, sir. Uh, and my question is regards to how turnout will affect the eventual result, and that is for Mr. Chairman, do you believe that Mitt Romney has a big penis? Oops. I apologize, Chairman McDonald, for that comment. Uh, we're trying to keep the conversation okay. productive here this morning. Uh, I wanted to make sure I heard him. in Derry, New Hampshire. Diane joins us on our Democrats line. Good morning, Diane. Hi, good morning. I want to say first of all to 
Uh, the moderator, you're doing a wonderful job. This is, I watch this show often. It's actually the first time I've called in, but it seems to be pretty feisty, but kudos to you. You're doing wonderfully. Uh, a lot of the attention has understandably been on the Republican primary, but people sometimes fail to realize that there are two primaries going on today. There's also a Democratic one, and I am a Democrat, and I did my research last night, and I saw that President Clinton actually won 84% of the vote in 1996, which may surprise some people. And I watched your program a few days ago on the Lesser Known Candidates Forum. There are actually 14 candidates on the Democratic primary ballot. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what percentage President Obama gets. Now, I'm a big fan of President Obama. I think he's going to do a lot better. And I think in general he will. But, you know, what's a deal breaker for many New Hampshire people, many of my neighbors, they do not like Michelle Obama. I really do. I respect the First Lady. But so many people think she is a bitch. With a oh, please, please. Let's watch our language and keep the conversation productive so we can have a dialogue that um, gets us all thinking and, and advances the conversation. Our caller did mention the fact that there is a Democratic primary going on in New Hampshire, and that is the case. We'll talk about that. Windsor, Ontario. Welcome to the program. Uh, hello. Hello there. Hi. How are you guys doing? We're doing fine. Go ahead. Please. Great. Um, oh, first of all, I have a... I, I, programming question when when i call in how come you guys are looking at newspapers and circling things and then i have a comment how come we're looking at newspapers and circling things well the, the program has many purposes it's your phone calls with guests that are coming in and uh, we read the news and uh, opinion pieces from the papers that's the basic structure of the program okay because when i call in i expect you to give me your full fucking attention Okay, let's uh, move on to inverness florida let's take our first call of the morning from california republican line Joe Biden, should he run for president? Jed is on the line. Good morning. Yes, um, I feel as though Obama is not doing a good enough job, you know, that dirty socialist motherfucking piece of shit. Stephanie, Roselle Park, New Jersey, independent line. Call Richland, Washington on our line for Republicans. Good morning and welcome. Hi, uh, I'd kind of like to touch on a, a few points that your first caller made. Uh, primarily, I have a really big penis. I can suck my... Next up is San Diego, California. Embassy website. Toronto, Ontario, you're next up with the ambassador. Hello. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jawad. My question is, do you have a big penis? Man, I can't believe that guy got back on. Narocco, California. Yeah, it's Narco, California. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Computer, how do you read it? I read the paper at home. Yeah, it comes to my door. That's uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jed, up next. Hannondale, Florida. Jed, good morning. Yes, um, I'm from Atlanta originally, mm -hmm. and so um, I like to read the Atlanta Journal-Constitution online. And um, it was very good for me when the snowstorm hit because I could keep in touch with my family. And uh, the only thing is it's quite distracting sometimes. It's quite distracting because you got all the other tabs and various shit going on and zombie midget porn and Joyce that. is up next I'm from Union, New Jersey. Good morning. Hey, good morning. I'm a soldier. I'm serving in the U.S. Army. I'm over there in Germany. I'm back here in the States right now for a little while. Mm -hmm. now, I have to say, in regards to all these people that are so anti-American, you know, in protest, you know, they want to, they're protesting all over Europe against us. You know, all I have to say to them is that, you know, I'm an American, and I can suck my own cock. Savannah, Georgia, you're next. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, it because uh, its repercussions are playing out in a negative fashion right now. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> I think we're going to move on right to uh, Philadelphia. Hello, Philly. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, before I have my comment, I've been enjoying the discussion very much. I've been listening to C-SPAN for several years, and probably the last few days have had the highest amount of obscene callers. So I'd like to ask a procedural question. What is C-SPAN doing to crack down on these calls? Well, whenever uh, we hear something, uh, first of all, we, 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 we try to admonish. We try to cut them off as best we uh, can. Uh, we're not on any kind of delay or anything, so we, we, we just have to do the best we can and hope that we're getting the best from our callers. It's pretty much what I can say. 
Yeah, it's just a shame that the level of discussion has gone down. But about the Romney situation, I actually think the attacks are the best thing that could happen for Romney. The best type of attacks that could happen whatsoever for Romney because they highlight his business experience. You go to the exit polls in New Hampshire, you see what they're voting for him for. They're voting for him because they care about the economy, because they care about winning the election. And they're voting for him because of his huge penis. All right, let's... Uh Caller um, messing with us this morning. We hope to get the best of our callers. He uh, set himself up nicely there, but let's uh, let's uh, move on. Um, we don't need that kind of stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, for Where are you calling from? Ch Ch Chattanooga, Tennessee. And are you Republican? Uh, well, yes, sir. I'm not. I'm undecided on this issue. Uh, right. Initially, uh, I think the war against the robots may not be such a good idea. Uh, some of them are friendly, in fact, and some perform a helpful function in society. However, I do fear the robots. I don't think they can be trusted. The robots? Yes, sir. And who are the robots? Well, they're the mechanical uh, the mechanical uh, creatures that are put here on this earth to uh, perform functions for us human beings. And who puts them on the earth? Well, I, I thought it was the space aliens. Okay. And if it's not? Well, then it could be uh, a deity or some other... Uh, some other form of life that we're uh, unable to comprehend. Can you give us one example of a robot? Well, there's the one, there's the one on Battlestar Galactica with the light that goes back and forth. Okay. Wayne, you're on with Nancy Hook. Hello. Wayne, are you able to hear us? If not, we'll put you on hold. We'll come try to come back to you in just a minute. They lost me. All right. Next up is Chris in Memphis, Tennessee, on our line for demo. If the government would get out of the way, maybe we could get everybody working again. I think that that is uh, for rep Riverside, Illinois. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Um, Mr. Murphy, I was just wondering if you feel that there's a resemblance. Caller, I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about. Uh, do you feel that there's a resemblance between your pubes and the hair on your head? Savannah, Georgia, Democrat. <laughs> Go ahead. Savannah, you're on the air. Yep. Uh, Riverside, Illinois. I apologize. Uh, Mr. I Murphy, there was, there was some comment. Mind. Our next call, Newark, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. I got myself into really bad debt. I was uh, paying one credit card off with another for over four years. Uh, I just went on and on, and, you know, I mean, I'm, like, really broke right now about to file bankruptcy. I, you know, I'm trying to get a penile implant. I need to enlarge my uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. You know, Oxford, North Carolina is up next. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Plunkett. How are you? Good morning. Um, but this is the kind of indignity that some of these women had to deal with, and by their their the persistence and their determination really uh, broke down some barriers and opened the way for other women who came later. Moving on to Baltimore, Democrat line. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Um, my question is, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Getting a lot of crank calls today. Not sure why they're coming in. We'll try to crack down on them as best okay. we can. Get to another name. Cause play. We go next to Camden, New Jersey on the Republican line. What do you think about all this? Good morning, Brian. And, uh, thank you for C-SPAN. Welcome. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> what do you mean? How old were you? <laughs> I'm not about to answer that question. When you lost your virginity? When did you get fucked? <laughs> hey, thanks. Nice to hear from you. Always good to hear our callers when they're like that. Do it because uh, its repercussions are playing out in a negative fashion right now. Moving on to Baltimore to our American Muslims line. Welcome. I hope this doesn't bother you, but I've been imagining what you look like naked. <laughs> I think we're going to move on right to uh, Philadelphia. Hello, Philly. Yeah. First I Austin, you're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm just fine. Well, I disagree with Mr. Bush. Them. They're going to go crazy in the year 2004. Thank you. Philadelphia, go ahead. Boy, the calls are really fired up this morning. Um... I just want to say I have a really big penis. I can suck my... Let's go next. You know, it's really very unnecessary. Next, we go to Washington, D.C. Hi. Good morning. I'm in Washington, PA. 
Pennsylvania, sorry. That's okay. Connie, it's, it's a, an honor to talk with you. Again, embassy website. Toronto, Ontario, you're next up with the ambassador. Hello. Yes, good morning, Mr. Jawad. My question is, do you have a big penis? Man, I can't believe that guy got back on. Norocco, California. Yeah, it's Norco, California. Sorry. It's all right. Um, good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Well, we have a call this morning on the international line from Pakistan. Welcome to the program. Yes, good morning. Good morning. My name is Borsak T. Baghar. I call from Pakistan. I do not think that this is a good idea because it will only cause further tension between nations of the world. And I feel, as what they say, nobody will do this to Israel. And do you believe that Howard Stern has a small piece? Let's go to Peckway, Pennsylvania. So let's talk to David from Pennsylvania. David, go right ahead with your question. How are you doing today? Very good, thank you. I was wondering if you would fuck me. Oh, we've had David on before. Good morning, Jose. Good morning. My name is Jose. I'm white. I'm socialist. I don't like black, Jews, Marxists. I am racist. I have no religion. Adolf Hitler was absolutely correct. Well, Jose, what is that? 
Apparently, Jose likes the freedom of speech. John's waiting from Los Angeles, California, on our line for independence. John, good morning. John, are you there? You just got you first and you had your circumcised pools. Okay. And so my whole thing is I have a really big penis. I was going to win the coffee because of his large penis. Let's move on to Vicky. I and mean, he's nothing more than an empty suit. The other thing I'd like to say is that there's a rumor going around online you're a fucking home. Alright, apologize for that. And I really feel sorry for him. One thing I can suggest is there's a movie out called White House Down with Jimmy Fox. People should watch that and they have as a Democrat and they have a greater appreciation. Why don't they consider the whiteys, the chalkies, the honkies, the crackers, etc. I mean, we don't have any teams called pill faces. I think the state stand should be focusing on other things rather than this bullshit. You guys, yeah. All right, we're going to move on. You're going to use that kind of language. Put it in the cash, art, stuff that's not going to be touched by the federal government. They're not fools. How do you think they got rich? They're not going to put up with having to take care of fat, lazy, slovenly niggers. Richard, don't ever call in here again. Don't ever, ever, ever call in here again. Let's just block that number because that's that's worthless talk. The depicting a leprechaun. A leprechaun was a, a, a kind cobbler. They just to come out at night and fix shoes. Their mascot is a pot bellied flush-faced, pipe-smoking buffoon leaning on a club. Now, how offensive can that be? And you who says, oh, please, whoever comes up with these subjects on the Washington Journal should be fired. Another tweet from Radical Talis. What a waste of time this segment is. That's about the third or fourth tweet we've gotten from Radical Talis, who thinks it's a waste of time. A Southern California high school sports team is not scoring any points for its name, the Arabs. Let's take our first call of the morning from California Republican line. Joe Biden, should he run for president? Jed is on the line. Good morning. Yes, um, I feel as though Obama is not doing a good enough job, you know, that dirty socialist motherfucking piece of shit. Stephanie, Roselle Park, New Jersey, independent line. .gov, a short delay announced. Covington, Maryland, Democrats line. Xander, hello. Um, I mean, mainly, I, like, I, hey, I'm a small guy, so like, this is the health issues that are involved with that. Is cost a concern? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I have a small cock. I have a tiny penis. Taylor, hey, I read an article about this recently. It was titled Dream Eskimo. I'm sure you can find it on whatever. It's just Dream Eskimo. But they were sort of talking about this different stuff. And I'm sure that this will be on YouTube because fuck you. Tom from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Democrats line. Boy, we sure are getting the cranks out there this morning. Sorry to hear that. In Jed is calling from Virginia. Which city is that in Virginia, Jed? Uh, Anselwoman. All right. Yes. Um. About Rick Santorum's Google problem. I'm not going to go into it because, obviously. But, you know, in, in Saturday Night Live, for example, Saturday Night Live had Mitt Rock, excuse me, had Rick Santorum in one of those uh, homosexual clubs. You know, like he was a guy who just loved to have a dildo looped up and shoved Okay, we're going to stop you at that point, and we'll go next to this uh, caricature. But if you look at somebody like like Howard Stern. Yeah, we're listening, Jack. Oh, oh we lost you, Jack. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can call back in. I think they fight for the right not to vote because all politicians are cunt bags. Fucking cunt bags. Okay, well, I apologize for, uh, for that. Um, unfortunate on a day like today. On the computer, how do you read it? I read the paper at home. Yeah, it comes to my door. That's uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Jed, up next. Hannondale, Florida. Jed, good morning. Yes, um, I'm from Atlanta originally, mm -hmm. and so um, I like to read the Atlanta Journal-Constitution online. And um, it was very good for me when the snowstorm hit because I could keep in touch with my family. And 
The only thing is, it's, it's quite distracting sometimes. It's quite distracting because you got all the other tabs and various shit going on and zombie midget porn and all Joyce that. is up next. Um, there have been some rumors going around about a man named Darian Campo. I'm not completely sure who he is, but people are saying that he lost the game on TV and also my balls. We'll go to Tom next, and I apologize for that call in um, Oregon. Hello? Hey, Wayne, you're on with Nancy Hook. Hello? Wayne, are you able to hear us? If not, we'll put you on hold. We'll come try to come back to you in just a minute. Shit. They lost me. Fuck. All right, next up is Chris in Memphis, Tennessee, on our line for demo. If the government would get out of the way, maybe we could get everybody working again. I think that that is uh... for Republicans. Jed, good morning. Oh, um, hello. I feel Again. as though um, the uh, women should be uh, at home and uh, making sandwiches and pushing out babies and having their period. And... All right. We'll try to have a constructive conversation. Let's go to May. Pass on to the next grade because these schools were underfunded. The, the teachers were underpaid because my, my father was a teacher, so I experienced that. And I have a, a great issue with this. I, I have a, a big issue with this. I have a big understanding of this. I also have a very big cock. That's the last call we'll take on this topic. Coming up, the president of Americans for Tax Reform. The, uh, I, I feel more as though the Tea Party represents us with their platform of, you know, essentially saying no rights for anyone. No, none at all. None. Why, why, do you, uh, why do you say that, Carl? Because um, they, they just... They suck ass. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Cash from Al-Qaeda Central, and I suspect that's the position today, even more so, because they control more territory. Thomas in Houston, Texas, Republican line, thanks for holding. You're on with Michael Gordon of the New York Times. Penis, big penis, penis is everywhere. All right, we're going to move on to Mike. Hello, um, I was wondering how you uh, managed to screen the calls for the... Um, hotline because it seems impossible to me to uh, be able to verify whether there's an actual threat or not. I mean, um, for example, it's impossible for screeners to evaluate whether there are prank calls on here. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I apologize for that uh, prank call coming in. We're saying the same thing. Stay out. The American people want the economy back. The Iraqi people want the occupation to be over, and they've made themselves perfectly clear that they are a very anti-American sentiment, and they have told me on several occasions, my Iraqi friends have told me, stay out, you imperialist motherfuckers. Let's go to an article now from the uh, Washington... And I think it's time for white men to start standing up because there's all kinds of groups for other races... And I think it's time for white pride. We have built this country. Caucus, which is racist, and the Black Panthers, which are racist. And you look at interracial uh, crime statistics, you will see that blacks commit 80% of the uh, interracial crimes against white people. As far as somebody called in and said we had a lot of Mexicans in this country at one time, and now we, we should, uh, I think we should keep the illegals and send the blacks back to Africa where you all belong. Thank you. Coming up on the Washington Journal. Crimea rejoining Russia. The Zionist neocon Jews are behind all of this. It does not work. If central planning worked, we would have lost the Cold War and we'd all be speaking Russian right now. we got to get the government out of everything. Everything the government sticks to know is going to be a complete earth disaster. Up. A bunch of worthless bureaucrats up in D.C. are going to fix health care. <laughs> They're the ones responsible for screwing up to begin with. And as far as Barack Obama goes, we need to impeach all right, let's move on. Mike, Houston, Texas. Yes, and I wanted to ask you, you said earlier around 47 million Americans use food stamps, right? You said? Uh, uh, the figure was 47 million received uh, as of April 2013, yeah. And uh, I was wondering how many were around, like, clan niggers? Freddie, Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, you know, it's just because of laws like this. Uh, well, for many different reasons. I, I'm completely against Barack Obama at this point. I voted for him, and it's because of acts like this that I will not be voting for him in the future. And which is totally amazing is watching the program is so far since it started this morning. It's just a five minutes I've been watching it. I just shot a load. 
It's amazing. Okay, we'll move on. Maybe wag the dog or <laughs> remember that movie about Vietnam? That's what it reminded me of. But hey, Diana, do, do you think there hasn't been enough media attention on this? Uh, obviously, it's uh, leading a lot of the papers this morning after that vote yesterday. So, that's... Um, <laughs> Elk Grove, California. I think our leg was being pulled there. Go ahead, Elk Grove. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hey, just wanted to make a comment, um, you know, about this is the first time in any election that, uh, you know, I voted uh, Democrat, and that's because, you know, all of the one-way street that the Republican Party seemed to be going, it sounded an awful lot like Howard Stern's butthole. All right, we're going to clear the lines, and uh, we'll... Uh from uh, Rhode Island and the town is Quahog. You're on. Go ahead. Hi. I actually uh, disagree with a couple of the people who just called in. I was actually in Iraq no more than maybe three or four months ago. And, um, everyone there wants to leave. We don't want to be there anymore. We don't want to keep fighting. We just want to go home. We've been there for too long. We keep getting held over and held over. We haven't seen our family in years. I mean, I can't remember the last time I barrel rolled my wife. Uh, next telephone call, Fayetteville, Tennessee. Hey, Austin, you're on the air. Good morning. We're doing open phones. Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Charlotte, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm just fine. <laughs> Talking about the practices of credit counseling centers with Travis Plunkett, we invite your phone calls of one of three lines. Our next call, Newark, New Jersey. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. I got myself into really bad debt. I was uh, paying one credit card off with another for over four years. Uh, I just went on and on and you know I mean I'm like really broke right now about to file bankruptcy and you know I'm trying to get a penile implant I need to enlarge my uh, package to pick up the chicks these days. You know, Oxford, gonna... North Carolina is up next. Good morning. At least for second if not of course for first. Let's go to Clarence Democratic Line in Jacksonville, Florida and hear what he has to say. Hi Clarence. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Very uh, exciting day here in America, the New Hampshire primary. Uh, I think it's very interesting to see how many, how different this race is from previous races. When you look at the amount of personality that you see in the Republican field, Herman Cain with his 999 plan, Rick Perry with his oops, Michelle Bachman with her very hairy vagina. Oh, excuse me, that was totally inappropriate. And uh, we're talking about the candidates and what's going on in New Hampshire. All right, thank you. We're going to go to Louisville, Kentucky for our last call for James Kitchell. Go ahead, please. Yes, I'd like to ask Mr. Kidfield what his opinion is on Halliburton, Halliburton being awarded uh, or rewarded, no big contracts. I'd also like to ask him his opinion on uh, Howard Stern's tiny... I have no real opinion on, on that last question. It's appropriate, though. We did have just a minute or two. That last call was a Howard Stern call, and the group set out this morning on the Stern Fan Network to jam our lines. And that's the first call out of 68 that we got in the morning from a stern caller. And they do it. The way they do this is they, they record a whole program, and then they try to get in, and then they give it to Howard Stern, and then he runs it on his program. And <laughs> everybody goes off and gets their lollipop and enjoys right, the weekend. Right. But uh, I, I have to mention that because they had blogged all day, all week, that they were going to jam the lines today. And uh, something happened. They just, they just didn't get through. Their yeah. intelligence is better than theirs. And we have no intelligence. Take them as they come. But I thought I was I had to say that. James Kitfield's book is called. We got to Baltimore. Democrat line. Hello. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Um, my question is, do you respect Howard Stern's penis? Getting a lot of crank calls today. Not sure why they're coming in. We'll try to crack down on them as okay. best we can. Get to another. We go next to Camden, New Jersey, on the Republican line. What do you think about all this? Good morning, Brian. And, uh, thank you for C-SPAN. Welcome. When did you lose your virginity? <laughs> what do you mean? How old were you? I'm not about to answer that question. When you lost your virginity. When did you get fucked? <laughs> hey, thanks. Nice to hear from you. Always good to hear our callers when they're like. Thank you. Troy, New York. Uh, you're on the Washington Journal. Go ahead. I, I would just like to thank you for taking my call, number one. And number two, you should go fuck yourself. On the uh, USA Today. Quite Michigan. Jim, on our Republican line, please go ahead with your question or comment. Yeah, you know, uh, thank you, C-SPAN. And Peter, uh, you mentioned something about uh, sharing the burden. And I just want to say, you know, I go home every night, turn on the news, see these congressmen and women getting out of their limousines with their law degrees. But, you know, for me, 
you know, on Main Street, I'm uh, I'm still getting a nine dollar haircut, and uh, you know, I drive a pretty nice van, and for that, I'm fortunate. But what I hate is that I'm becoming the one with the draconian policies. I'm becoming the vilified. I, you know, I manage a Quiznos, and uh, these punk kids come in, and uh, you know, they expect a free bag of chips, as our deal used to be. But you know, times have changed, and I got to say, you want those Doritos? Well, cool fucking ranch kids. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.